Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today we're going to talk about angle lines and how to change your angles on any stitching and why you should because it's it's actually a really good trick. So let's go to digitize. Let's start off with the basics. Let's just do a closed shape and it doesn't matter what kind of a closed shape we do. We're just one, two, three, four. Hit enter. Our stitches are made. Let's change the color, why don't we, to maybe something like that. We can see better. And I double clicked on it to bring this up. And you can't see the angle lines, but if you go to reshape this line here, now I'll zoom in so everyone can see when you hit the angle line, do you see the cursor change? And if you do it at one end, it's going to tell you what the angle is. Now you can change the angle simply by left clicking and dragging. And you see how you get a complete different look when you change the angle. See how the stitches, you know, straight up and down looks completely different than at, you know, the standard 45. Let's get it up to 45. There we go. That's standard embroidery. So what can you do with that? This is just on tatami stitches. You can do it on uh, block stitches. They're built right in. You can do it on uh, satin stitches and it works really cool. So experiment around a little bit with it. So let me show you what we can do that it is a really good effect actually. I think we'll just kind of hash something out here like this maybe. It doesn't have to be anything great. I want it up and then down and just to about here. So it's not perfect. It's not even great, but that's okay. So let me close this up. Let's go to layout, which is one of my favorite things to play with. And I kind of made it a little bit off there, but you know what? That's going to be okay. You're going to still get the idea that I want. I overlap them a little bit and I want them merged. Then we can go in to reshape and it's just one click here and go delete and that's how you fix it. So this is supposed to be a leaf. It doesn't really look like one, but that's okay. We're just doodling. So you can change the angle of the leaf and it's going to look a little different. So let's go to here. Let's right click and drag and it's another leaf. Click on it again, change the angle of it, and then you can make the leaves look a little bit different. And that's the point of this. So one, you know, will catch the light, the thread will catch it this way. This is a little bit different. Let's go back to our reshape. And if you play around with it, you can get it to look different and have, you know, more depth to your embroidery. So let's try that again and we'll try something different. So if you can kind of get that, how it'll look, let's try something different. So let's go back to digitize. And this is just, you know, fun. We just want to do digitize close shape and we want to do, let's do kind of a different shaped leaf. Just, it happens to work quite nicely on leaves. Uh, and it's just a really good example. So let's just kind of do it like this. Uh, it looks more like a tree. Why am I always crooked today? I have no idea. Let's go in and fix that. Maybe my head's crooked today. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, if you're having issues like I am, just make sure you use your grid to keep everything straight because that, that sure helps a lot. And there we go. Now I'm going to right click. I mean, that could be rounder. That could be nicer. Let's right click. There we go. And what we want to do is just flip this. So let's go to mirror. And, you know, that's a pretty rough leaf. But let instead of, you know, putting them right together like we did on the other one, let's just, uh, or merging them, let's just put them together. The middle part makes the nice vein, and of course you can do this better, but let's add a little more interest to it and make, you know, make it look a little bit better. So I think this side should go up like that, hit enter, and let's go back to our select, let's select this one, and let's do this one up like this. And you see how it looks different, and it get, you don't even have to digitize the veins in it because it looks, like two separate parts and it really gives it a lot of style and it makes it look, you know, a little more in depth. 
and I really like doing this. It's a great effect, especially when you're working with smaller objects and you can just play around, you know, have one going up and then one going this way. You can match the angles and it's a really neat trick to have better looking embroidery. Why don't we make this one green and then you can see it a little bit better, but see how much better that looks instead of this. This is, this is what you'd normally do. Straight across, and then this one is straight across. Let's make it straight across. That one's easy to figure out. There we go. And see, that's just kind of plain. You could have done that in one. So it's way better, way better to do it. So I encourage everyone to play around with their angles and try to make even the most basic shapes a little more interesting and a little more in depth. And it's really easy to do here inside Hatch Embroidery. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.